Hey, Brett J here again, talking about the shovel pass. When the defense bails, bust them with the shovel. When the D-line is coming hard, getting upfield, again, bust them with a the shovel. Um, we've coached a ton of quarterbacks that have all had success in our system, all, uh, all different sizes and abilities. Our offense has compiled over three different schools for about 12 years. And we've kind of come to this final piece. Last couple years, we've led the conference in offense. The, we call it Ace 97 Shovel, so it's based on our all goes. Um, but the quarterback uh, shovels to the, to the back. Uh, we also fold the one technique. Here's the first rep. Quarterback gets his three-step hitch, drop. Um, running back sells the, the C-gap block and then finds the, the one, uh, finds a fold on the one technique. Usually this is set up over the course of the game. You know, we, we do quite a bit of drop back passes so the D line start getting comfortable getting upfield. And that's why we bust them with the the shovel. Quarterback, if it's a right handed quarterback, we like to have him drop back regularly. You'll see a good uh, picture here. And then shovel with his left hand. Usually when he gets his drop back uh, and gets to his platform in the pocket, it gets those DNs coming hard upfield. It's a huge compliment to the vertical pass game, especially when the defensive back, like right there, you'll see the DBs just bailing in a back pedal. Some are turning and running. It creates a huge void between the D line and the defensive backs. A lot of space for the uh, the running back to run. We don't really practice this in individuals. We mainly just work on this in uh, in our team session. We try to run at least once a game, maybe twice if they're not catching on. Hey, thanks uh, for for watching. Hopefully, you got some some good stuff. Uh, contact me if you have uh, any questions. Thank you very much.